Have a nice day everyone. Today we will be talking about the complex numbers. A simple introduction to complex numbers. And according to the reference, although the system of complex numbers arose from the need to solve theoretical problems in mathematics, it has long been found to be useful in many practical applications. For example, in the theory of alternating current, scientists discovered that the system of complex numbers provides a convenient system of representing certain variables. The extensions of the set of numbers. First, is natural numbers, for example, 1, 2, 3. But due to this equation, x plus 1, there will be no natural numbers to satisfy this equation, then there came integers. And there were also, until such time, there were also equations like 2x plus 5 equals 0, has no real solutions from integers. So there existed rational numbers. And from rational, there became real numbers. From this x squared is equal to 1, is actually x squared, there are two values of x that those are positive and negative 1, positive and negative 1. Why? Because positive times, positive 1 times positive 1 is 1, negative 1 times negative 1 is also positive 1. And we have also from real, there existed imaginary numbers from this equation, imaginary. Why? the set of complex numbers so we take the previous expression x squared plus 1 is equal to 0 so as we could see there were no real numbers that can satisfy this from natural integers rational or real so x squared is equal to we transpose positive 1 is x squared is equal to negative 1 Extracting the square root of both sides, x is equal to positive and negative square root of 1. So simply x is equal to square root of negative 1, which is imaginary. Why? Because there is no single real number that can satisfy what I mean is, if the index is even, actually this is understood to be 2, and the radicand is negative, then there is no real root for this. So we simply mean this to be imaginary. i is equal to square root of negative 1. Remember that was x is equal to negative 1. So i squared is equal to the square of the square root of negative 1 is just equal to a negative 1 which is a real number take note square root of negative 1 is an imaginary number but the product is or but the square is a real number this was according to the work of Leonard Euler or Euler whatever he in coined the word Imagine, he coined the letter I probably because I is the first letter of the word imaginary. All right, now we go to the diagram. Complex numbers, for example, 2 plus 5i. Complex number is divided into real and imaginary. As we can remember, the diagram of real numbers, the complex number, this and this are not found in the diagram of the real numbers. But due to the existence of complex numbers, we have 
elongated the diagram. So complex number divided into real numbers, for example, 25. This number is very much important to me. Uh, imaginary, for example, i, 3i, etc. Real numbers are divided into rational numbers and irrational numbers. Rational, for example, 1 half, 3, 3 4. Irrational, for example, square root of 3, 5. And rational number under this is integers. And integers are divided into two whole numbers, for example, 10. Negative numbers, for example, negative 4, negative 6. Uh, and whole number is also divided into natural numbers, for example, 1, 2, 3, and 0. Now we go to the operations on complex numbers. Number one example, 5i plus 7i. As we can remember, the operation is also algebraic. 5 plus 7 is 12. We bring down i. 4i plus 6i. So 4 plus 6 is just 10i. We bring down i. 2 times 4i. 2 times 4 is just 8i. Number two, A, we find the value of I cube. So we simply factor this out, I squared times I, and we know from the previous explanations that I squared is negative one, and we simply bring down I. So negative one times I is negative I. I cube is negative I. B. I to the fourth power is equal to, we factor this out, I square times I square, and we know I square is equal to negative one each. So negative one times negative one is equal to positive one. C, I to the power of five, we evaluate this. Uh, we have already look for the value of i to the power of 4, that is 1, so we simply factor this out, i to the power of 4 times i, and i to the power of 4 is already 1 from there, times we bring down i, so i to the power of 5 is equal to i. d, i to the power of 6 is equal to we factor this according to i to the power of 5 times i. We have already solved for the value of i to the power of 5, which is i. So we simply bring down i. And this, that, i times i is equal to negative 1, or the square of i is negative 1, according to the previous explanation. Example number three, we find the square root of negative 16 is equal to, we factor this out into one of the factor is a perfect square and the other is a negative number. So the square root of 16 is 4 and we know this is a square root of negative 1. So we simplify the expression 4i. B, square root of 3. Uh, is equal to square root of 3i squared. Why? Because if we try to factor this, this is 3 times negative 1 uh, square. Am I right? Oops. So the final answer is equal to i square root of 3. I is from the negative one and we know that this is the real part and I is the imaginary part. Number four, I square root of three, close in open parenthesis to the power of two or square is equal to, we distribute the exponent I square and square root of three square. So I square is negative one 
and the square of the square root of 3 is 3 so the final answer is negative 3 b 7 i square 7 i close parenthesis square so 7 squared times i squared 7 squared is 49 negative because i squared is negative 1 number 5 z is equal to 3 minus 4 i w is equal to 2 plus i those are the given so z minus w will bring down 3 minus 4 i minus 2 plus i 3 plus 3 minus 2 is 1 negative 4 i minus positive i is negative 5 i this is our final answer for that and example number 6 5 i 5 minus 3 i close times a plus b i is equal to 5 times a and 5 times b i is 5 b i negative 3 i times a is negative 3 a i negative 3 i times b i is negative 3 b i squared we simplify that we simplify that until we arrive at the final answer 1 plus 0 i or simply 1 all right our last topic is conjugates of complex numbers so this will be used for the operations in division play a plus b i the conjugate is a minus b i we simply change the sign of the second no. z the conjugate of z is this symbol so we take the example number seven three minus four i divided by two plus i so three minus four i we change this into another form for the purpose of facilitation 2 plus i we take the conjugate of 2 plus i that is 2 minus i over 2 minus i we know that this is equal to 1 the, the value is not changed but the form is going to be different so 3 times 2 6 3 times negative i is negative 3i negative 4i times 2 is negative 8i negative 4i times negative i is positive 4i squared all over 2 times 2 4 2 times negative i negative 2i negative positive i times 2 is positive 2i i times negative i is negative i squared so 6 we, uh, we simply bring down 6 we can combine this if we try to simplify this this is negative 4 6 minus negative 4 6 minus 4 i mean is 2 all over where do we get 5 4 this will be cancelled negative i squared will be positive 1 so 4 plus 1 is 5 and negative 3i negative 8i we combine that negative 11i over 5 and that's all